The famous room channel says hi. Back when Robert told Danny that he has five children, that seemed likely to seal the fate of their engagement. It's such a huge bombshell. So do Robert and Annie split, or do they make it to the altar? Let's find out. Robert and Annie had a boatload of obstacles that might interfere with their union. For starters, there's how they met in person. After months of chatting online, Robert took a cruise and spent eight hours on dry land in the Dominican Republic. He only spent eight hours with Annie, and that was all that he needed before he asked her to marry him. Then there were several revelations. Robert confessed to Annie that he already has five children by four different baby mamas. Given that, up to this point, Annie had only met adorable little Bryson, that came as a tremendous shock. In fact, even investigators who had looked into Robert's past had missed it. They'd only known of two baby mamas and a total of three children. Additionally, there was the news of Robert's troubled legal history. We want to be absolutely clear that, unlike other 90-day fiancé stars like Paul Stale, none of it raised alarm bells. Robert's history is not violent. In fact, he was the petitioner in a domestic violence case that led to a woman's arrest. But he has faced multiple evictions over the years, as well as an arrest for driving without a license when his license had been revoked. So why do we bring up Robert's very minor brushes with the law as an obstacle for his odds of marrying Annie? Because Annie has been widely perceived by 90 Day Fiancé fans as being a gold digger, does Robert actually have any gold for her to give? This question has dogged them since that first trailer introduced them to viewers. However, it looks as though they were able to overcome these obstacles. Soap Dirt reports that Robert and Annie filed for a marriage license in Orange County, Florida on August 12th. Robert and Annie took their time, however. The two married in Eustis, Florida on September 21st, just as the Northern Hemisphere ushered in autumn. The marriage ceremony took place at the Little Wedding Chapel, which sounds like an ideal place to get married on a budget. There they would have spent less than most of us would spend on a new phone or new computer to have their union made official. The good news is that this low price includes a photographer, which means that we will one day get pictures. The bad news is that while Robert and Annie remain under an NDA, they are unlikely to make any of those photos public for fans to enjoy. TLC, of course, wants the pleasure of hosting the platform where they announce their marriage. After that, maybe Robert will make the pics public. <laughs> <laughs> 